So I'm gonna keep this assembly clip short and sweet. Large water tray. Your frame and rail system. Here's your direct drive motor, 1.5 horsepower. It's a very strong motor. Let's mount it. Your rear tray to contain water. Your cutting table here. Your side table to contain water and your extension table for large format tile. Now your water pump and blade. Saw is all assembled, filled up with five gallons of water. Quick trick, when you assemble a brand new saw, make sure to check to see if this blade is square by using a speed square. Butt it up, nice and square to the blade. Make sure there's no gap on the bottom or the top. If there is a gap, you simply adjust this bolt here. So we're all squared up. Let's cut this massive 52 inch piece of stone. Here we go. All right guys, really quick, let's talk about some of the good features about this saw. We've got a GFI large water tray here, holds five gallons, nice smooth tray, and rip up to 24 inches. We've got a bunch of extension trays. This thing contains water really well. You've got obviously your plunge cut option here. You have a miter of 45 and 22 also. And a fantastic pump. I picked up this saw, the stand, and the blade for $703. Now, now this is not a sponsored video. I paid for the saw with my own money. And I'll leave a link in the description on where I got this saw. All right, let's talk about the quick tip on how to rip this long piece of stone. It works with ceramic porcelain as well. Now, when you have a tile that's longer than 24 inches, it has to sit up on this lip here, which, which is difficult to get an accurate cut. So what you do is simple again, use a small piece of curdy board or go board or any shower foam backer board. For today, I'm gonna use go board. It's a little more rigid than curdy. So let me show you how this works. We've got our piece of go board right here. Try to find a, a factory edge. It helps a little bit. Pull the tray back, lift the plunge up, and then lay your board down on the table like so. And I'll show you what this does. As you can see, it's nearly flush with the back of the table, leaving you about a 32nd of an inch. Enough room to butt up a speed square to this edge in order to get a nice clean straight cut on tiles that are 24 inches or larger. Let me show you what I mean. Just for example, we have a porcelain plank here. Lay your porcelain plank over the back of the tray, just like that. Let's say this porcelain plank was 24 inches or larger. We're gonna show you how this cuts that 52 inch piece of stone, but this is how this works. It's fairly simple. Again, half inch backer board gives you enough room to butt up a square. You can use a large square, you can use a speed square. Push it back against the back of the table just like that and square up your tile. It's very simple. 
I'll show you from a different angle here. Again, you've got a little lip here, about a 32nd of an inch to hold that square in place, which allows you to square up the tile. You can also bring the square down underneath and behind the backer board if you like. Regardless if this board moves or not, as long as this square is butted up on the back of the tray, you're gonna be square, you're gonna cut straight. All right guys, let's cut this massive piece of stone. Here we go. All right, I have my line, here we go. There you go. Not a bad cut for a very heavy 5 8 inch thick piece of stone. Well, there you guys have it. Another DeWalt tile saw unboxing and the rip table extension trick with some foam backer board if you need to cut any large format tile, two feet to five feet or any porcelain planks, two feet to five feet on a standard tile saw. This trick, Works with Rigid, I know that for a fact, QEP as well, and many other tile saws. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Again, thank you very much for watching, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below.